Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we're going to school. I'm at my daughter's school and we've got lots of rotten wood going on. So we're gonna make the school look great. Exterior base, trim, windowsill. I even show you guys how to use Bondo. And I'm just a dad trying to put his kid through school. We're gonna take the rot and make it not. I'm gonna show you how. Let's get to it. I got some trim base blocks that are rotted here. This one too. Out of all the jobs I've had, being a dad is my favorite. Now like replacing all rotten wood, you're gonna wanna cut the caulk line of the adjacent boards. You don't wanna break anything that doesn't need replacing. I have a second grader in this school named Echo. She's a superstar. Now Echo was my last kid. She is now seven and I didn't plan on having her, which makes her extra special. I actually had a vasectomy scheduled when we found out we were pregnant with Echo. Now this is a two by eight. You can see the different thickness of this trim board. So we're gonna match it up to whatever dimension the board is that we're taking off. And when you're prying off wood, you wanna get behind where you see the nails. Of all my kids, Echo is the daddy's girl. Dads are typically away for kids' early years, but I was able to be a stay-at-home dad for three years with this one, which means more time with her at home. Now this base block has got a 45 degree angle here, so we're gonna need to recreate that. So I got my two by eight here, actually an inch and a half by seven and a quarter. And to create my 45, I'm gonna tilt my blade to the 45 mark. Tighten it down, now my blade is angled on the saw. And I'm gonna cut it right at the one inch mark right there on the edge of my board. Put my square there so I know it's gonna be staying put. We can duplicate our old trim, exactly 12 inches, but I don't want this one to sit on the ground like the last one did. So I'm cutting it at 11 and three quarter. Now that'll keep it up off the ground. Come out. Hello. My wife and I wanted to be in control of my kids' education this year, so we did private school. There's no reason a seven-year-old should be going to school for 35 hours a week when she can do it in 15. And with this rotten wood job, God gave us a way to pay for it. Now with rotten wood, every situation is different. See, we've got this little thin sill right here, but it's mushy. And this whole window would need to come out and be replaced, but the window is in good shape. It's sealed. So we're gonna do a facelift for this one. We're gonna get right behind this part of the sill and I'm gonna try to split it with my chisel. I always wanted to be a good dad. I didn't have much of one and I didn't wanna put my kids through that. We're gonna have to bring in the multi-tool. I'm decked out today. I got my new home mender shirt on and some hats from FlexFit. Anytime you guys see me wearing hats in there, they are FlexFit. These guys are awesome. They sent me a bunch of hats and I love them. So if you like those, go ahead and check out FlexFit. So from 22 to seven, I've got four daughters. Okay, God. Thanks for trusting me with them. And once you get that sill all out of there, now I'm going back with this vinyl sill nose. It's like PVC, I primed it, uh, and it's actually a two part system, but I couldn't use this and it's gonna work perfectly for this situation. Now the reason I didn't cut these guys is cause I'm gonna lay this in here, but I need this uh, new sill to slip under this brick mold. So I'm gonna lay it up here and I'm gonna mark it. I want my new sill to slip up under there, just like so. One of the greatest things that I've experienced as a dad is going to school with my child. This is something they'll remember, so if you can get the opportunity to spend a day in class, you should take it. Get him out. 
then we'll slip him in. Once you know your sill fits up flush to the window. Not only is this wood replacement job provision for the family, I got the honor of being the guy to fix up the school. Echo is really proud of me and gets to talk about me in class. Now let's get some door and window sealant on it. Plus, when parents pull up and drop off their kids, the trim isn't rotting off the building. Right, I'm gonna caulk it to the brick, but I'm gonna be a little more gentle with the caulk because it's hard to wipe off. Make sure you get it good and sealed. Now you can wipe with a sponge, and since I don't have one today, I'll use the quarter inch finger trowel. Wipe off the excess. And I don't use the finger trowel to the brick because it's too messy. With rotten wood, as long as the rot comes out and you make it look pretty at the end, you'll be good to go. So to all the dads, both new and old, something about parenting I've learned is that you're not raising a child, you're raising a, an adult. Bring a child up in the way they should go and when they're old, they won't depart from it. That means teach them what you want them to do when they're young. If you want them to help, teach them to help. Now we can caulk the joints with painter's caulk. Being a dad is awesome, but it's by far the hardest job that I've ever had. Now, I don't like usually cutting this little piece out. Uh, it's good to replace the whole thing, but this bad boy is all cased in behind the brick mold, behind the door jam. Uh, if we can patch this, it would be a good economical decision. Plus I get to show you how to use Bondo. Put him in like that. And then I got a nailing block here. So get the joint as tight as it can be. We're gonna wanna put this up off the brick as much as possible. And dads, the best thing you can do for your kid is to love their mom. There we are. Now I'm gonna caulk this joint, but this seam right here, I don't wanna caulk. I wanna use uh, something a little fancier because I want it to look like one full piece of wood and I didn't shortcut it. All right, now you've seen me use uh, rock hard before. Bondo is a little different. It's a bit more hardcore and it's great for finish work, more durable. I've like rebuilt uh, a door corner, a metal door corner with the Bondo, so it's super cool comes this way it's a mixing system comes in this little the the cap is a little mixing container and it's got an extra tube of additional goo that you add to it so it hardens in like 15 minutes so you do have to work fast i want to use something disposable to mix it so i'm gonna put this guy here put a little bit of goo in there just mix it all in like that in the plastic container here it's got to be definitely mixed good for a couple different reasons. Uh, one, it's not gonna harden well, and it's not gonna be able to be sandable and things. And then I'll show you what the second one is in a minute. And I'm gonna mush it in there. There we go. Knock down your high sections. And I have a lot of wasted Bondo here. All right, we got the first coat on there. You can see it's Almost disappeared now, but we're gonna do another little finish coat to hide that completely. All right, got a little bit of three birds in the background there. I do not own this music. So the cool thing about um, Bondo is that you can tell when it's dry and you can take this plastic thing, the tub, and just kind of mold it, bend it, and all this will just come right out. If it's dry, of course, which is another reason why it needs to be mixed up completely because the whole thing will come out and you can reuse the tub. What we're gonna do before the next coat is just scrape down any high areas that we have. And this time I'm gonna put the finish coat on with a nice smooth knife instead of a stir stick. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put our second coat on there. Just smooth it on like so. All right, now do your finish coat. Move. Now that's looking sweet. It's seamless. Well, there is a seam there, but we hit it really well. And even without sanding it, uh, it looks pretty amazing as is. So thanks so much for letting me share about being a dad. And I hope that video gave you the confidence to tackle your rotten wood projects. And if it did, go ahead and watch another video. 
I've got lots more exterior repairs or take it inside. I've got all kinds of project videos that'll help you learn to fix your home. Thanks for watching.